Welcome to a really quick tutorial on how to get started with Auto and the Arduino IDE. So um, number one is you need to get the Arduino IDE depending on your operating system. You can get it here at arduino.cc slash en slash software. And in my case, I got the macOS version. I already installed everything and set it up. And um, then you have to select the board. So that's uh, up here. And um, in case of auto, we are having an ESP32 um, module and um, the one that I chose here. So ESP32 dev module is the one that would generally work. There's others that would work too, but um, you can just go with this one. Once you select the board, odds are it will ask you to install some updates and libraries and so on. Just follow and install and update away. And once you're all set, we can actually get started with the code. So when you start a new sketch, um, you will be uh, having two methods. So there's setup and there's loop. And in this case, what we want to do is we want to uh, flash one of the GPIO pins. And um, you can actually see that pin on the board. Let me show you real quick. All right, here you can see auto. And actually it did upload correctly. So you can see the flashing pin here. And this is what we're trying to do. We're like flashing the LED. Um, but now I also want to show you how to actually upload the um, auto. So you need to be connected with a cable, right? So you have the USB cable needs to be connected. And then you actually need to connect to auto as well. Yeah, here we go. So this is the module. Let's select something else. And now you also need to select the ports that you connected auto to. So in our case, it will be this one. All right. Now let's try to upload to auto. So you can see here code wise that we're just looping this and we're waiting for one second and we're just basically blinking, um, like turning the LED on and off. All right, one more thing while this is uploading. So originally when I tried this, I actually had an error um, that indicated some kind of communication problem. And I tried uploading the sketch then with auto disconnected just to troubleshoot and see if that yields the same error or not. And it didn't. <laughs> so that meant that there was something else going on and it was like able to communicate, but it had some kind of problem. I then um, checked with ChatGPT to see uh, what the suggestions were. And one of the suggestions was actually to change the upload speed, which seemed like, okay, strange to me. I was like, mm, probably not going to work, but lo and behold, it did. So um, it seems like the upload speed was too fast. And I then set it to this one here, 115200, and that worked. And then I was actually able to upload. So you can see this looks successful. You can see the pin is blinking. Let me show you. There you go. It's blinking. By the way, don't be surprised. Like I disconnected everything else as part of the troubleshooting to make sure that there is no interference of any kind and that this is actually the you know we're getting to the bottom of the problem. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. Now let me modify the code so you actually see a difference. So right now it's pretty steadily blinking, and what I will do now is um, I will change the frequency a bit. So let's keep it on for longer. Let's keep it on for like three seconds and then um, turn it off. Then wait one second and turn it on again. So right now it's like on, off, on, off. And now we've made this change and we can even make it blink faster. But the point is just to actually write some first code, which we can then deploy to auto. Just so you, you know, it had this first um, successful, um, successful upload uh, to auto and then you can go from there like you can um, actually use the help of AI to write these scripts um, but there's also a lot of stuff out there like anything for ESP32 should probably be working and adjust or at least it should be adjustable to auto so um, and of course then there's the modules that you have so now it's uploading the sketch um, that you can also tinker with but this is just like to get you started okay now it's uploading the code writing 30 40 50 i'm curious so um it's obviously going to look different so i just want to show you the difference so you can see that something is actually happening there you go so three seconds on 
it goes off three seconds on and it goes off again so and then just one more time uh, we can do a really quick blink so then it would be like blink 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 just like upload one more time so now you see the interval is pretty long so we have it on for three seconds it's off for one second it goes on again and now what we will do is we will do a pretty quick blinking so 500 should be like 500 millisec uh, sorry yeah 500 milliseconds actually um so half a second which is pretty pretty quick blinking i just give this a second to upload and now you can see it blinks really fast so yeah this is just a really first small program to play around with to get started and um, there's actually something else i would like to show you all right so take a look at this um this is a schematic for auto and you can see basically the board here the leds that are already built into the board and you see that these numbers that you have here these are these are like numbered so you can see one two four six and then it goes on the other side and so on um these numbers are actually like when you use arduino you need to use different numbers to communicate with these ports so in this case here is 18 19 16 17 26 32 27 and so on so this is just something to get you started um what you can see here is like the default configuration of auto so ultrasonic the led light ring and then of course the uh, motor left and right and um, the line sensors that follow the line i mean that allow auto to follow a line that's it for now. Thank you for listening and I'll be back with more things about auto very soon.